Mga kaibigan, the all new Honda Click 160 is officially in the Philippines at nakikita na sa ilang mga Honda dealers sa bansa. The hype was unreal when Honda teased this unit because of the drastic improvements they made. A new design and more high-tech features. This is priced at 116,900 pesos. Pero, bago ka magkaroon ng impulse buying, we should answer the question if this unit is the best na kukunin mo sa kanyang presyo. On the other hand, there is this Honda Airblade 150 na tila hindi masyadong napapansin ng mga masa even though it is also packed with features and with a premium design. So in this video, since the Airblade which is priced at 100,000 pesos is the nearest in terms of price sa Click 160, let us make a comparison if which of these units are truly the bang for the box. This is Sir Dan and you are at DND TV. The Click 160 has captured the imagination of motorcycle enthusiasts with its all new design na mas pinalapad at totally binago ang mukha nito. Bukod pa dito, ang engine upgrade while maintaining the floorboard na trip na trip ng mga Pilipino. On the other hand, the Airblade 150 seems to be appealing only to a limited segment of the scooter market. May angas naman pero some say may kulang dito. In comparing both scooters, we are first going to their basic specifications. The Honda Click introduces to the market three colors. Medyo komplikado ang tawag ni Honda pero sisimplihan na lang natin. Ito yung matte black, matte white, at matte red. As we all know, the Airblade here in the Philippines has three colors also. Mayroon naman itong glossy red, glossy blue, at naiba lang ang yung black na may matte finish. So in this category, we will put a tie since yung pagpili naman ng kulay is very subjective. So pagdating sa power, it is understandable that Click 160 ang nakalalamang dito dahil nga sa mas malaking makina at naka 4 bulbs na as compared sa Airblade na 2 bulbs pa rin. Pagdating sa laki ng tanke, yes, lamang dito ang Click 160. But what is confusing is the fuel consumption. For a 2 bulbs versus 4 bulbs, konti lang ang lamang ni Airblade sa Click 160. But many of Airblade users claims that they can reach more than 50 km per liter sa average na driving habit. It's only logical na mas konti ang bulbs, mas matipid. Pero since bago pa lamang si Click, we give it a benefit of the doubt. For this one, I'll give a check to Click because of a larger tank. But I'll also give a check to Airblade because of the convenience in placing the fuel tank in front of the bike.
This is a tie once more since both has a smart key system with answer back and anti-theft alarm. Herbly got a check on this one. With a lesser price, it already has an ABS system at the front brake as compared to CBS lang ng click. Click got the check again because of the wider tires. Alam naman natin na kapag mas malapad, mas makapit at mas dependable sa likuan. Mas tumaas si click pero mas mahaba at mas malapad pa rin ng konti ang Airblade. Pagdating sa size, subjective ito depende ito sa panlasa ng user. Sa seat height naman, personally I prefer Airblade since mas friendly sa kapo sa height na Pinoy tulad ko who is only 5 foot 4. But though the click isn't bad, abot pa rin naman kaya it's also a tie. Kung nandito ka pa at nagugustuhan ng content na ito, mga kaibigan, beke naman! Pakipindot mo na yung subscribe button at bell para sa mga susunod na videos. Salamat rin pala sa mga hindi nag skip ng ads. Malaking tulong ito sa mga maliliit na YouTuber na Pilipino na tulad ko. Now having said all of this, I can say that there is a thin line between the two bikes and choosing which one will be your new travel companion boils down to your personal preferences. One can go with click for a faster machine, bago sa mata and syempre sa ating mga Pinoy, importante ang floorboard. Pero hindi pa rin pahuhuli ang Airblade kahit na ngayon ay parang underrated ito. May bilis rin naman, na tama lang sa mga hindi habol yung top speed. May forma rin, lamang sa safety features, at puno rin naman ng ibang features bukod sa mas mura. Again, I compared the click with Airblade because itong dalawa ang halos magkalapit sa kanilang price point. And to wrap it up, I hope nakatulong ang video na ito sa paggawa nyo ng choices. Again, this is Sir Dan and as always, mabuhay tayo mga kaibigan.